Okay, so my opponent stated that um, that uh, calculating cost is not appropriate, but it is appropriate because um, uh, because uh, nine million dollars is a lot to us. It might not be a lot to the state. I mean, it might be a huge amount to us, but it's not much to the state. But it is a lot to us. Nine million dollars. That could that money could go to victim compensation. It could go to the law enforcement, it could go like different places in the budget, but I mean, if you have so much money in California courts, if you have so much money, why are California courts like about to feel the pain, pain of budget cuts? Um, for my evidence, uh, during the last three years, the state huge court system had cut by six, $650 million. The new proposed budget would shrink the system by another Five hundred forty-four million, freezing construction to replace depleted, depleted uh, courthouses. The new cut came from government. Jerry Brown released the revision of ninety-one billion budget in response to the state deficit that had loomed to sixteen thousand dollars, nearly twice what the governor projected when he released his initial budget proposal in January. <coughs> and so. Um, he also says that, uh, a com that uh, the states have the death penalty. States that have the death penalty do not use it enough to show anything. However, um, that's that's false because uh, okay. Anyway. Um, or um, long long term imprisonment is severe enough punishment to to have similar or even socially beneficial effect on deterrence crime. Um, in neighboring states, one with the death penalty and the other without it, the one with the death penalty does not show a consistent lower rate of criminal homicide. For example, for example, between 1972 and 1990, the homicide rate in Michigan was generally as low or as or lower than the neighboring state of Indiana, which restored the death penalty in 1973, and since then had sentenced 70 persons to death and carried out two executions. Um, responding to your dis disadvantage argument, which is uh, because the abolishment will rid of the fear and potential murders, the disadvantage is crime will increase because they won't be scared to stay in prison for life or without parole. Facts fail to be consistent in showing that capital punishment deters crime. Um, the United States and yeah, that's all.